Hi guys, do you want to know how to get rich in Minecraft? I got all of this in a 100% survival world, so I'm still able to get my achievements and that was really important to me. It's super, super easy to dupe in Minecraft Legacy Edition and I'm going to show you exactly how step by step today. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kath Acro. If you're new here, welcome. I make Minecraft videos pretty often and I try to do lots of tutorials like this one. So let's just get started. You can basically dupe any of these blocks behind me and it's really quick and really easy. This is a very old glitch on the Legacy Edition and it still works to this day. So I'm gonna explain as clearly and as simply as possible. And then later we'll talk about whether or not this is cheating because some people think it is and I'm not really sure. So let's start with what you can do using this method. So there's diamonds, emeralds, lapis, iron, gold, dried kelp blocks, hay bales, redstone blocks, coal, and even slime blocks. If I'm forgetting any dupable blocks, please let me know in the comments below. But right now, I'm in my creative world. So let's switch into my survival world from my let's play and I'll show you that it's really, really easy to do even in a vanilla survival world. So here I am in my let's play world. Let's start with what supplies you need before you can start duping. So you're gonna need two blocks of the same dupable item and one crafting table, that's it. So let's say you wanna dupe diamonds. That means you're gonna need 18 diamonds or two blocks and one crafting table. So this may seem like a lot of diamonds, but with a pickaxe enchanted with fortune or a bit of luck, it's so much easier than you think. So I'm gonna use diamonds for my first example because I'm pretty sure most people wanna dupe diamonds. But then I'm going to show you with the other blocks because some of them are a little different. All right, so let's begin. Once you have two diamond blocks and your crafting table, you're going to want to go into your settings. You need to assign a button for your pick block command. So you go into your controls and you scroll down till you find pick block and then you just want to assign a button. I use the up arrow, but depending on how your controller is mapped, you just want to pick whichever button is free. It really depends on your controller layout. So choosing a pick block button is vital to duping. If you don't do it, you can't dupe. After you've chosen a button for pick block, you can leave the settings and move on to the second step. From here, you have to know how to do two things. First, you have to know how to switch between the selected items in your hotbar. You probably already know how to do this. You just press the right or left bumper on your controller to select different items. The second thing you have to know how to do is how to use pick block. Pick block is a command that allows you to quickly access an item from your inventory. Let's say you're facing a block that you have in your inventory. If you press pick block, that block will immediately be selected and ready to use. Once you know how to use pick block, you're ready to put the two steps together and start duping. From here, place a crafting table down and place down one of the blocks you wanna dupe. You wanna place this block pretty close to the crafting table. Then move the other block out of your hotbar. This is super important. Make sure it is not in your hotbar. So now facing your diamond block, press the pick block button and switch the item in your hand at the same time. This might take a little practice until you can do it easily every time. And guys, let me just tell you, this took me so long to figure out, but I promise you it does work. It's really, really frustrating if you can't get it, but if you follow all my instructions exactly, I promise you this will work. So I'll show you again. Face the diamond block, press the pick block, and the right bumper at the exact same time. You should then see two diamond blocks in your inventory, but stop right there and don't move. Without doing anything else, open up your personal crafting. On my controller, I press X, but again, it depends how you've mapped your controls. So we're not using the crafting table for this, but our own personal crafting box, if you guys know what I mean. From here, head to the decorations and turn those two blocks into individual diamonds. It is really, really important that you do this before trying to do anything with the diamond blocks or else the dupe diamond block will disappear. So once you've changed them all into diamonds, you should have 18 diamonds in your inventory and now they're yours to keep. But wait, you don't have to stop there. Turn to your crafting table and turn those diamonds back into blocks. Now repeat the process. Move those two diamond blocks out of your hotbar. Face the diamond block, press pick block and switch hotbar items at the exact same time. You should now have two times two diamond blocks. Without doing anything else, open up your personal crafting box and turn them into diamonds. Then turn them back into diamond blocks and repeat these steps over and over to achieve literally infinite diamonds. So as I mentioned before, 
The steps do change a little bit depending on the block you choose, so I'll show you now what I meant by that. Let me just quickly say that if this video is helping you out at all, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and even turn on the notification bell because I do upload often and you don't want to miss my videos. So to show you guys how the steps are a little bit different depending on the block, I'll use lapis as an example. Go ahead and dupe the lapis blocks by pressing the pick block and switch item, same as before. But now when you open up your personal crafting, you're going to have to go to the die section to find the individual lapis. So depending on which block you choose, you might have to search around for it a little bit in the crafting section, but all the blocks that I showed you today are definitely dupable. Lapis is super handy if you do a lot of enchanting or you can even decorate with the blue blocks. Gold is amazing if you want to make enchanted golden apples. That's one of the really good things about xbox 360 is that you can make enchanted golden apples as long as you have gold blocks so amazing duping wheat might be helpful if you're building a hay maze or maybe a horse stable and you need a lot of hay it's also convenient if you're trying to breed villagers and you need a lot of bread coal is also extremely handy if you dupe a lot of coal you'll basically never have to go mining for coal again and you can fill all your furnaces up with coal blocks dried kelp blocks are fun to dupe if you want to decorate with a very original looking block Slime is really fun if you want to make giant trampolines, and redstone is handy for large machines or powered rails. Iron is another really handy block to dupe. You can make tons of iron golems, or maybe a whole bunch of anvils. And emerald blocks are amazing for trading, especially if you have a good village. Now I'm sure you're thinking, Kathak was such a cheater, she dupes everything. That's cheating. And while I agree it's a little bit cheaty, at the same time, I believe that it's simply taking advantage of a glitch in this version of the game. I mean, you still have to find 18 diamonds by yourself before you can even start to dupe, and you still have to do some work. So if you guys think this is cheating, then I totally understand, because I used to absolutely consider this cheating. I feel like I should mention that I don't dupe all the time. Sometimes I don't even remember that I can dupe. I really save duping for when I really need it. Also, the Xbox 360 world size is limited, so there are limited supplies. Sometimes duping might be really necessary. But of course, I really didn't need all these diamonds that I duped for this video, but it's really nice to have. <laughs> it all comes down to whether or not you're comfortable duping. Let me know in the comments if you think it's cheating or not, because I'm really curious what you guys think. All right, so with all this being said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe for more Minecraft. Thanks again to CrispyBat for showing me how to dupe. His video will be linked below. So my shout out of the day is for Isaac Ramirez. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your comments. I see your comments often and I really, really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for browsing my whole series. That's awesome if you really did that. Thank you so much. And I know I already shouted you out last video, but thanks again, Zexful Gaming, for suggesting I do this video. If you guys want me to shout you out, just leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to do that. Okay, see you next time.